Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters. <laughs> G'day, I'm Fletch. You're watching Classic Restos and this is Americana for 2018. And you'll see more right after this. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machinerynhouse.com.au. We are celebrating the 11th year of Americana, and I think I have covered almost every one of them. But from year to year, this event is continuing to outdo itself. Here in the gorgeous Taranaki region of the North Island of New Zealand, where else do you find at least 500 American classics of all types parked up, ready to head off to different destinations over four days? Well, there are different departure times each morning from home base here at TSB Stadium. Today is 12 noon. The first legendary trip destination was to Opanaki Beach and is an Americana highlight. The energy from this event sends shivers down your spine. Why, you may ask? Well, it may seem that our Kiwi neighbours embrace the American lifestyle so much that this country has no problems waving the American flag. After all, we have a great association with the USA and of course they are responsible for manufacturing some of the most powerful and vivacious motor cars we've ever seen with robust Australian cars based on their derivatives. This is where you can expect the streets to be lined with school children along the route out of New Plymouth cheering and waving you by. Year after year, you never tire of this octane-fueled, chrome-lined atmosphere. A time where everyone is same page, here for a good time, and to cruise beautiful parts of regional New Zealand. It's day two of mainstream Americana, and by now, most are well into the swing of a great time. From here, it's off to see the wonderful people at Waitra. Cars will park up, grab some lunch and enjoy all that Waitra Township throws on for Americana participants. 3 p.m. today, it's back on the road. Inglewood is the next destination via the Tarata Tunnel. The Inglewood community is renowned for their amazing street party. Yep, it's an Americana tradition. Chief Organiser and Founder of Americana, John Ray. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Fletch, we're hanging in there, mate. With uh, event number 11 in Taranaki is throwing everything at us this year. Cyclonic conditions here for the Taranaki region, yet the diehards, they just continue to show up, don't they? They do. Um, we are going to achieve our 800 plus registrations. You know, day one, uh, the curveball was obviously the cyclone that came through the night before. The rural community was severely hammered in South Taranaki, particularly between Opanaki and Benaya. Today we're all good to go, we can't stop in Waitra. Again, the, the problem there is no water, so there's no toilets, no food, no, no catering facilities, but we are still driving through, but at a slightly later time. Inglewood's good to go. JR, we, uh, we focus on what we have here, and that's uh, many hundred here for this Americana for 2018. Uh, weather conditions aside, the cars look fantastic, mate. Again, uh, great effort, and uh, let this next few days unfold. Absolutely. Thanks for being back here, Fletch. Hope you get your, uh, your tour group over next year to enjoy yep. what we put on offer. We have a large contingent of people from the States, uh, Dubai, and a lot of your fellow countrymen are actually here. There's a couple of chaps turned up out of nowhere. Yep come over just to enjoy the event, so we've got them on the mainstream school bus. When the, to the likes of uh, Willie keeps turning up every year, you can't go wrong. Yeah, not bad, mate. The guy flies out from Utah on his own. Uh, he hitchhiked up from Wellington on the Americana sign, yep. uh, and he got uh, picked up by a group of four cars and swapped around. So yep. we've given him some fuel vouchers for the people to give him a yep. ride, so good he's good to go. Awesome stuff. Great catching up with you, John. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hundreds of cars parking up here for 2018 Americana, ready for a cruise destination. How you doing, Robert? Very good. Thanks, Fletch. 
Sorry, mate. Wow, you're uh, setting the scene here in your 1960 Impala, a bubble top. What a machine. Yep, it is pretty good. Nice cruiser. How long have you had it? Um, probably 18 months. Yeah. Do you, do you like driving it? Love driving left hand. Yeah. It's good. Very easy. Now, Rob, these Chevs, I know other brands did the same thing, but I love the colour coding uh, in, in terms of inside being the same colour as exterior. Just love the way that here, for example, the red through the interior. Gee, it's a nice look. Yep, they did the they did the similar colour um, matching houndstooth trim on several colours, mm. but the red is actually very striking colour. Yeah, yep. uh, there's something about red in these cars. Uh, the dark reds, your burgundies, even your blacks, highlighted by the bright work. But how cool is that line that starts at the front, runs right through the top of the door, and continues right out to the back of the car? Yeah, very cool. Because Chev only did the wings in '59, '60 like this. Yep. Um, then they phased them out. When they got to the 61, they had the bubble top, but the back curve wasn't quite as good uh, incorporating the wings. Yeah. But that's an era 59, 60. Sure. Comfortable car? You're happy with it? Oh, very comfortable. Yeah. Yep. It's, we get back to this old technology, don't we? A, a car that's uh, not very young, but yet feels so good to drive. Yes. A few modifications done to it, though, to make it handle not, not like an old, uh, an old girl. But yeah. Um, no, very comfortable drive. I think the way tyres have gone, tyre technology is a sensible move. Obviously, uh, we, we put wider tyres on our cars these days. We do what we can to the suspensions. Little tweaks here and there uh, for a car that's way over 50 years of age, you can make them very, very drivable, can't you? Yeah, easy fletch. Uh, this car's got drop spindles, uh, two inches, yep. BFGs, uh, the rally wheels which uh, come out on the Camaros, yep. big fat sway bar, and next minute you've got a really nice handling car. Speaking of power, what do you have under the hood on this one, Robert? Uh, 350 Chevy, yeah. turbo 350 transmission, yeah. triple carbs, custom exhaust system, yeah. nothing too over the top, but mm. makes it uh, peppy. Before I let you go, Rob, your thoughts on Americana f in general for 2018? Um, this is our first time ever here. Yeah. Uh, Organisation's really, really good. A few mishaps with the weather, but uh, it's all about driving our cars and uh, having a week away. I know. Talk about cyclonic conditions and an event blowing everyone away. Well, we can say that literally, but luckily uh, there's been no damage in terms of anyone hurt. There's been no vehicle damage uh, that, that we know of, so that's fantastic. All us older guys, we're reasonable drivers. Well, most of us. Yeah, as far as, <laughs> as, far as you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, you keep on having fun, Rob. Thank you, Fletch. Thanks, Good to mate. be here. Cheers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. How cool was that red 1960 Impala? It's the quality that depicts Americana. And these cars, these people, they travel big distances. That car there was just north of Dichichakapee, which is over from who want to do a pui. Big distances, big distances, people travel, people travel. My passion for cars began when Nana and Pop bought their new Toyota Crown. It was Nana's, really. She loved that car. We went everywhere in it. My passion now is just the same, even though my cars are a little different. I've still got Nana's car, couldn't part with it. And I reckon if she was here today, she'd be insured with Shannon's too. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems, finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Ferntree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up 
buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. Well, how cool is this? Usually, the Americana entrance park up here in the main street of Whitrup. Now, due to the cyclone knocking out the water system here, affecting quite a few retail businesses to the likes of cafes, well, the cars are still choosing to drive through the town to entertain the locals, to share the chrome en route to Englewood. Parked up here in Inglewood, here in the Taranaki of the North Island of New Zealand. Now, when you're going to see something exclusive, chances are you're going to see it on Classic Restos. How you doing, Ian? Yeah, I'm good, Fletch. Mate, a 1968 Plymouth GTX. Now, we're talking custom here. This is a one-only car, probably the only type in the world. It's incredible what you've done. Tell us, how did you start? Where did you find the car? Okay, a dream when I was just a young fella watching Vanishing Point. I had to have a Mopar and it had to be white. And so when I found this GTX, I had to buy it and it was pretty rough. It was an old stock car in Texas, its last life. So I did a rendition of exactly what I wanted. I wanted to build automotive art. And I think I've achieved that. This is an incredible thing that you've done by shoehorning the, the V10 in there out of the Viper. Now, did that take much work in terms of engine mount, relocation, transmission? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, no, it was actually surprisingly uh, pretty good. No firewall movement, just opening up of the tunnel. It's got the Tremec six-speed behind it with a strange Dana Ultimate 60 rear. And the floor pans through the whole car are custom handmade to make it, and they swage to look like factory. And we've done a full chassis through, top-hatted, like factory. And front uh, coilover, front suspension, all tube, and a um, four-link in the rear. What an amazing car. You've got to give credit to this guy here. Now, it's got to come from up there in the grey matter, mate. These yep. plans have got to start from somewhere. Now, when you thought of getting this GTX, did you have this car pictured in mind finished? Yeah, I did. And in the first six weeks of the build, I did the rendition. And um, I worked with my graphic guy. from. Well, he's good at a computer. I'm not. Yeah. And uh, we took a standard one off the internet, and then I just told him to do this, do that. We dropped the sill line 65 mil. We removed the quarter light window. Okay. We also had to extend the front fender, and we had to flash the very front of the fender in front of the wheel as well. Yeah. Yeah. The rear quarter we had to extend. Yeah. We did front valances, rear valances, custom-made bumpers out of brushed nickel. Um, the grill's a 76 piece with a billet surround. You're a walking storybook with this car, it's amazing. As I alluded to earlier, the only one in the world, the only one of its type. You see roadrunners that get some work done to them and of course the other marks under the Mopar banner. The Plymouth GTX often gets overshadowed and overlooked probably because there's less of them around. Yes. So for you to have got that car and gone to the extreme that you have and it's so tastefully done because it's such a cool looking thing. Mate, congratulations on it and the big park up here in Inglewood, the whole main street is just lined with classics. The time frame to do interviews is so tight here so congratulations mate, you've made it. Thank you very much Fletch and we enjoy having you here. Thank you very much Ian, you take care. Thank you. Love what you've done to the Mopar, it's, it's, it's blown me away, well done. Thank you. In the country town here, Inglewood, very trustworthy, Ducks Pharmacy. I went in there to buy something, they said, how are you going to pay for it? I thought I'd just put it on my bill. <laughs> when it comes to doing crazy stuff, there's no doubt about it, the Kiwis, well, they're pretty good at it. How are you doing, Golly? Yeah, good, mate. Good, Fletch. Good to see you again. I've been riding over here for a few years, and I'm glad to see you made it. We've got the old margarita maker, going to make a little mix here tonight. Sort of kind of pina colada kind of a drink with my friends. We do this every Americana. We have a bit of an open house here and have a bit of fun. This is amazing. We're only a couple of streets away from the big park up at Inglewood. Had to get round to this bloke's place here. Now, when we talk about mixing a drink, you don't mix a drink. You technically annihilate one. Yeah. Run us through the process, Golly. Well, this little contraption I've made is uh, 350 Chevrolet, supercharged, uh, on methanol. Good full MSD ignition. Uh, it's quite a good little motor. Nice set of heads. Um... It drives through various uh, smoke and mirrors, a flux capacitor and all top secret stuff I can't reveal. Uh, it makes about 25 litres of drink. We like pina coladas, a bit of coconut juice, a bit of pineapple juice. Um, 
yeah, it's a fun thing. Um, it's just something I've been working on for the last few years. You know. Man, I love the belt system out back. Oh, it's pretty trick. Yeah, it's gears and uh, took a bit of working out, but, you know, tinker away in the shed there at night, it came out all right. Golly, it'd be a horrible nightmare. You throw a belt halfway through and that would happen when you're most thirsty. Yeah, exactly. And you've got, a, you know, you got an unruly crowd like these guys. <laughs> here we got, we've got some Aussies here, you know what they're like. Yeah. And... Uh, no, we have a little bit of fun with it, it's all good. Some of these people here tonight, I've known for years, and they're a great bunch of people, and when it gets back to the Kiwis doing something, it's uh, you go outside the square with stuff, and I find it incredibly amusing. Now, uh, how much power has this thing got? It's blown, you've got two four barrels on top, you've got a stack it's of power. This is just to, just to spin something in a blender? Yeah, it's, um, I say we make about 25 litres at a time, we're just going to make a small blend tonight. Uh, it probably makes, I mean, uh, if I put some timing in it and stuff, it would probably make about 550 horsepower, I don't know. Just just to mix a drink? Yeah, well, absolutely. It would puree a steak. Yeah, and it turns that ice, we've got some pretty tough ice over in here, Australia, in New Zealand. Um, it turns that in a nanosecond, mate. You'll see, It's uh, I flick the switch, which engages the clutch on the AC compressor, and it starts the drive, and uh, it's all good. Stay in your favourite chair, check this out. Thanks, Golly. Cheers, Fletch, and we'll get this thing going, eh? All right. Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> it's a good drink. It's not bad, eh? Yeah. Imagine, imagine another thousand RPM. Oh, no, you don't be silly about this. True. <laughs> Better keep it sensible, right? We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast-growing southeast corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state-of-the-art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer-based paint mixing systems, finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Fern Tree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerymouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. Second last day of Americana for 2018. Behind me, around 800 American classics ready to roll. Today's destination is Stratford via Kapu Pong. Sorry? Kapong. Ponga? Punga. Ponga. Kapu. Who, would you do a Ponga? Could. could you you could have done a Ponga? You, you couldn't possibly have called a town that. It, 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 could do a ponga. Did he, did he do a ponga? Well then, after that, it's uh, off to Howra. Um, <clears throat> and to round off Americana for 2018 tonight, well, things don't get much better than the street cruise later on this afternoon in the new Plymouth CBD. Some of the vehicles that you find at Americana are amazing. I have to show you this before we head off to Stratford. This truck is just out of the workshop, a 1948 GMC, powered by Chevy 454, turbo 400 transmission and a custom cab. How cool is this? Hasn't been seen by the public before. It's its debut here for Americana for 2018.
Well, here we go, Americana for 2018. We're parked up here in Stratford. It's time now to get around and see who we can find with their special car. With me now, the wife of the events promoter here for Americana, Diane Ray. How are you, Di? I'm very well, thank you, Fletch. Are you happy to see me again? I'm over the moon to see you. It's been a while. We, we go back, don't yeah, we? we do a bit. Yeah, <laughs> we've had some great times together, you and I. We certainly have. <laughs> and those times were in this car, this beautiful 55 Chev. We did the South Island many years ago for uh, the Invercargill Americana. Now, Di, there's been a bit of a story since then with this car. Do you mm. want to share that with us? Mm. Well, in 2011... On the trip back from Americana in Vicargill, um, some other entrants from New Plymouth decided it was a long way for a young lady to be driving a car on her own without any male companionship <laughs> and in the event of a, some sort of problem with the car. So he said, follow me, Di. So we followed him, but he was actually travelling quite a bit faster than I felt comfortable driving this car. I find that a bit hard to believe it anyway. Oh, no, know. it's true. Mm. Yes, didn't really corner as comfortably as I would have liked. Mm. So on returning to New Plymouth, I said to John, can you please just sort the clutch out, which was a bit of an issue also, and just get it to corner a bit better. No problem, he says. So him and Sean attacked the car, and in doing so, found some horrendous rust. The car was definitely not what we thought it was. Lots of terrible things hidden up. Consequently, six years off the road, I'm back doing my first Americana for six years. All right, Di Ray, it's always a pleasure. Uh, good to see you back after all these years. Yeah, it's great to be back too, Fletch. And hey, look at the day we've got today after the last couple of days. Yeah. It's going to be a great day. And the numbers too, uh, lot, uh, numbers better than expected oh. from the cyclonic conditions as yes, well. Yes, yes. Well, I'm 8.58, so and there's yeah. a few after me. Yeah. yeah. How, how's that for Americana 2018? On the approach to 900 vehicles, that, that would, cool. would have to be a record. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 Let's hope it's not too many cars and doesn't create too many hassles. Good on you, Di. Lovely to catch up with you again. You too, Fletch. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you. Once again, Americana entrants dominate a town, and in this case, the township is Howrah. Talk about cars dripping in chrome, colours popping in the sun, and there's one highlight of this town for the event is the Go Stop, where it's an opportunity for some entrants to get in their classics and go flat out and then stop as quick as they can. John? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, Fletch. That's the way. A 1946 Cadillac, wow, you're looking dapper, you've matched the car you've brought here today, looks tremendous here. What can you tell us about it? Well, yeah, 1946, um, I've had it for four years, and uh, an American man had restored it, brought it into Queensland, into the back blocks there somewhere, and I saw it in an Australian magazine ten years ago, wrote over to him, and he sent me some snaps in those days, and uh, I said, yes, I'll buy the car. But we couldn't agree on a price. Somebody else from Auckland went and bought it. Wow. And every time he took, took it to a car show, I would go up to him and say, I'm going to buy that car. Wow. And he said, not for sale. And then one day, out of the blue, he phoned and said, I'm thinking of selling it. So I didn't argue about price or anything else, just bought it. Mm. It's amazing, John, that you had a connection with the car for that amount of time, and then it, mm. it all came. 
As soon as I saw it, I, I thought, it's just a beautiful car. John, you must feel pretty mighty driving a car like this. It's so stately. Yeah. The design of the 46, the big chrome yeah. die-cast grill up front. Uh, so much style, so much class. Yeah. Do you ever think of what it must have been like back in the day to, or of the original owner that bought this car brand new? Oh, they would have felt good. Mm. It counterbalances me because I've got no style. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's a beautiful car to drive. Yeah. V8 side valve. They ca in 49, the same shape, came out with overhead valve, the first yeah. overhead valve car. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's side valve just rumbles along and attacks the hills well. Yeah. Uh, cruises beautifully. Yeah. Pleasure <laughs> catching up with you, John. <clears throat> Pleasure talking to you. Pleasure. Thank you, Fletch. You're welcome, mate. Excellent. Thank you. Americana 2018 and this is a highlight that everybody waits for. It's the Friday night cruising. Yes, they block off streets here in New Plymouth. How powerful is that? Only for Americana of this size. This is Devon Street and tonight there's around 900 classic American vehicles pounding the pavement here tonight. There's lots of chrome, there's thousands of people. Why not sit back and enjoy just some of the street cruise for Americana 2000 at 18. Well, what do we say? Just some of the incredible Americana for 2018. And you've seen it first on Classic Restos. Now on next week's show, I'll be sharing with you part two of this amazing event. In the meantime, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hair and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters.